Did you know that no matter how high you go, the horizon is always at your eye level? If you're in an airplane or Mount Everest, you look straight out on a level surface and there's a horizon. You don't look down at it. That means it's perspective, two planes coming together. That's what that means. It's not a globe. Wait, wait, let me, let me turn the light off here. Oh, I know. <laughs> Hello. Hi. interested in science? Uh. <laughs> Let me tell you one fact. No All matter right. how high you go, the horizon is always at your eye level. If you're in an airplane or Mount Everest, it's always at your eye level. You never look down. It's not a ball. Uh. All right. Just think about that. Yeah. Interested in science? Do you know the Earth is really a flat plane? No matter how high you go, the horizon is always at your eye level. Think about that. Come back and talk to me. Can't see too well in them, right? <laughs> Yeah. 
one and they change it to the other. So, I don't know, I think it's uh, they have both of them on there, but yeah, it's the second and the fourth one, they have Well, so far, so good. Let me see what time it is. I don't know where my camera is. My, my phone. Oh, I do have water. Huh. Amazing. my phone. I thought I brought it in. Didn't I bring it in? There it is. Ah. What time is it? 12.30. Okay. Cool. science at all? No, thanks. Yeah, I hear you. I know what that is. And we always do Parsi checks at the station if you want to call it. We do Yeah, I wipe the floor up. Interested in science? Yes. You know what this tells you? No matter how high you go, the horizon is always at your eye level. That means we don't live on a spinning ball because you're not looking down ever. In an airplane seven miles high or Mount Everest, it's always up here at your eye level. That tells you it's this. It's perspective that you're seeing the horizon. Ships do not go over the curve, they just go into the vanishing line of the horizon. So you can look this up. Here, you can have a card. Oh, okay. If you type in the website, you can get all the information you have on the banners. Oh, okay. And you can learn something. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's go see the puppies and then we'll get some
Interested in science? Want to learn a little science today? Did you know that the horizon is always at your eye level? Even if you're in an airplane seven miles high or Mount Everest, you're always at eye level. Okay, that means that you're due to perspective. Ships do not go over the uh, curve. They just go into the vanishing line, like, like right here. So if there's no curve, that means we don't live on a ball. It means we live on a flat plane. Like this, all these world organizations use the flat earth map. Did you know that? But they leave off Antarctica, which goes around the outside edge. The North Pole's in the middle. So why would they leave off Antarctica? There's Antarctica right there. They don't want you to know that it's not at the bottom of the ball. If they can fool us, they can rule us. They can tell us to deny our senses of reality and we'll believe them. So they'll say there's weapons of mass destruction and we'll just go over there and get killed for no reason. So why are we not saying no to the government? Why are we not saying no? We have to learn some things for ourselves, question them, say that's enough, we're not doing that, right? This is reflection on a flat surface. It's a line, it goes right onto that table, you can see that. This is reality, you get the line of reflection. If it was a curved surface, you'd only get a little spot. And you can test that for yourself. So, why are they doing this? Well, look, here we go, Chicago. Chicago, and this is 60 miles of Lake Michigan. 60 miles away, there's Chicago. According to the formula, it should be 2,400 feet down. We should be looking through the ocean to see it. Nah, it's right there. A 2,400 feet is like a 240-story building. That should be down. It's not. It's right there. If you go on this website and you type that in, you'll get my four favorite videos, and that'll start you off. You'll get one that has everything on the banners here, and you can think for yourself, which is what we're not taught to do anymore in the schools. They say you just look at this book and regurgitate it, and then we'll pass you on. Now you gotta question things. Gotta question things. And once you know this, that'll change your life on how you do things and what you decide, decisions you make. What's your biggest question? I know. That's why I'm bold and I just come out with stuff because people don't even want to look at this. Two years ago I said the same thing. Gravity force. Okay, gravity. If there is really gravity holding all this water and everything onto this ball, that would mean that there's no natural flat places on Earth, right? Because it all have to be going, going to the center of this ball. Well, we got the Bonneville Salt Flats. How were they formed? A, sol a giant salt lake dried up. So if the surface of that giant salt lake over 80 miles, that's more than 2,400 feet, if that dried up, the bottom would dry up the same shape. No, it's the Bonneville Salt Flats. We have Lake Baikal in Siberia, 400 miles of flat. Suez Canal, 100 miles of flat. It's all flat with each other. They all touch. Check it out. Thank you. Get a bottle of wine and sit down because it'll land you on your butt. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks for stopping. Do you want anything? You can take a literature. You can take any of this. Take what it, Here's, yeah, 10 things in there that'll make you think. That was awesome. That was awesome. Tick tock, tick tock, la la la, tick tock, tick tock, la 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 la. Little doggies.
That guy walked right around that table so he could avoid me. Number 23 there? Yeah, it was funny. I saw him coming. He walked behind the police table and then out and around just so he could avoid me. Isn't that funny? That's funny. Some people, they're so afraid of it. There he goes again. Going the other way. You know what? I wonder who that is. Is he? Yeah, he might be with the uh, mall. He might be a mall guy. Hey, you want to learn some science? Good. Look at this. This is a level, okay? Now look what happens. It finds its level. Okay? That's level right there. So when you hold this up to your eye and you're in an airplane, at the end you'll see the horizon. The horizon is really where the sky and the ground meet, just like this. Okay? So when you see ships going over the curve, they're not going over the curve. They're just going into, into the horizon, the vanishing line. That's what that is. So you know these railroad tracks continue, right? But you can't see it because they're going to a vanishing. Go ahead and you can go look. See? Like railroad tracks, you can't see where they, you know they go, right? But you can't see that far. Same thing with the, the horizon. You can't see past a certain point. And the, so the ships just disappear into that. That's what it is. So here we have the, the flat earth map. And look, there's the United Nations and military and all these world organizations use the flat earth map. But they leave off Antarctica. You know why? Antarctica goes around the outside edge. The North Pole's in the center, just like there, see? North Pole's in the center. So every time you have your compass and it points to the North Pole, see, then everything outside of that, let me move this. Here's the North Pole. If it's point, well, here we are. Points to the North Pole, everything's down or away from north to south. So if you're over here, this point's the North Pole, but over here it's south. south yeah. to east. No, this is south. If you want to go east, like you're here, you want to go east, you go this way. Oh. And west is this way. Because this keeps pointing north. So you're going like this, it just like goes around, you know, and around, but it keeps pointing north and you just go in a circle. That's how it works. See? And even if you're on a ball, it's the same thing. There's North Pole. That would be circumnavigating that way. See? But it's flat because we can see too far. This is 60 miles away, and there's Chicago across Lake Michigan. 60 miles. That's far. It is far, especially when this is a formula. See? It, it, there has to be a mathematical formula for if it goes out, it's got to go down. Right? So, this is the formula. That should be hidden under 2,400 feet of curvature. That's like a 240-story building. It's not. We can see it right there. So, why is that? Because we don't live on a ball. We live on a flat surface. And they're fooling us. Why are they fooling us? Well, when you get a little older, you'll figure out that... The government wants to control the people. You know, back in uh, the historic times, the kings didn't want the serfs to read. The serfs were the slaves. And the kings didn't want them to read because educated people are hard to control. See? That's the deal. They don't want us to be smart. They don't want us to really know something. So if we study, we can know something for ourselves. If you type that in, you'll get everything on the banner. You'll see everything here and three other videos that are like my favorite ones. Yeah, so check that out. If you do have a question, like you're thinking, huh, how can that be? Yeah. Yeah? Well, if you think of something, come back and ask me. Okay? Have a great day. She was sweet. 
She was sweet. Nice girl, smart and questioning things. That's good. Good, good, good. Hey guys, learn some science today. How about it? I could teach you something you don't know, I bet. Interested in some science today? Science? Yeah, science stuff. This is real science. Yeah, look at all these world organizations. They use the flat earth map. Now why do they do that? North Pole's in the center. Antarctica actually goes around the outside edge. It's not at the bottom of the ball. And that's what they don't want you to know. They leave it off. Isn't that interesting? So here we have Chicago across 60 miles of Lake Michigan. If there is a ball, if it goes out, it's got to drop. So we have to have a formula for that. Spherical geometry says we have to. So the formula is 8 inches times a mile squared. So Chicago should be hidden under 200 and, or 2,400 feet. That's like a 240-story building. It's right there. It's right there. So what's happening is, it's really planar geometry where we have two planes coming together, and that's your horizon. The horizon is always at your eye level. It comes up. So if you're in an airplane seven miles high or Mount Everest, Horizon is always at your eye level. That can only happen with perspective. So, it never drops down. So without curvature, we don't live on a ball. You would be able to see halfway across the earth. Yeah, did you ever drive a car? Do you know how to drive a car? Yes. Okay, do you ever drive in a fog? No. Uh, okay. Well, your parents have, so you know it's really hard to see in front of you, and all that is is moisture. There's a lot of moisture in the air. That's why we can't see Spain. Plus, perspective, which I just told you about. It's too far away. Now, we can, we have these high-powered telescopes and zoom cameras. We can zoom in 100 miles easy now, but with those high-powered telescopes, you could probably see Spain. But who owns them? The government. Matter of fact, the Vatican owns the largest binocular telescope, and they called it Lucifer. Did you know that? Curious. Yeah, why would they? Because they want to know, but they don't want us to know. Because the kings didn't want even the serfs to read. Educated people are hard to control. That's the whole deal behind this. So look, here's 10 things you can look up. And here, if you type this in, you get everything on the banners. And three more of my little videos that you might like. I don't know, you can take one of them if you'd like, whatever you want. This is water, like, see, the oceans are all flat with each other. They all touch. So all the oceans are all level. Sea level is sea level all over the world. So this made you think just a little bit and it didn't even hurt. Yeah, so check into it. You girls sit down and watch those videos together. <laughs> We're going to do this. Yeah, this do it. Yeah. And and then you can talk to your smart guys and, you know, say, hey, we know something you don't know. My personal smart guys. <laughs> Hi there. There you go. I'll give you one of these. Look at that cool picture on there. You're welcome. I don't know what the sign is. I mean, it's going to be over $100, but I don't know what it is. Lifetime gas, we're going to pop everything into the sign. Like, it's over $100. Is it getting hot?
hot in here or is it me? It's getting hot. I wonder if I can do that. I wonder if I can do this. It's hot.
never look down. All these world organizations use the flat earth map. This is the North Pole in the center. Antarctica goes around the outside edge. It's not on the bottom, like this. They leave it off of their logos. Because they don't want you to know that. See? But look, there's Chicago, across 60 miles of Lake Michigan. We see too far. We have these zoom cameras now that go into it like 100 miles. Ships do not go over the curve. They just disappear, just like the river track. So, how come they're lying to us? If they can fool us, they can rule us. They'll tell us anything, they believe it, or they will walk the board. For their interests, not ours. I don't care what they're doing. I am my voice. Stop trusting our government. Oh, that's, the problem. That's, the problem. that's the problem with this country today. Yeah, we just believe whatever they say. We watch the TV. If yeah. it's on the TV, then it's got to be... We never landed on the moon. Never landed on the moon. You can't. It, you, it's not like a... It's not a solid object. You can see through it in the daytime. If you go out and look at the moon in the daytime, it's blue. It's not like a shadow dark. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we do. And you know, it's All right. How's that? Have a great Have a great day. Yes, you too. Oh my! I took my shirt off. Nobody ever knew. some science. Interested in science at all? I'm going to give you I'm going to give you one fact. Okay? So, when you run up in an airplane 7 miles or top of Mount Everest, horizon is always at your eye level. You always are looking straight out. You never look down. You never look down at the horizon. That's cuz it doesn't curve. It's, no, it's a product of perspective. We're two planes coming together, like that, see? Yeah. So when you, uh, you think you see a ship go over the curve, it's not. It's just going into the vanishing line. Yeah, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, and all the oceans are, are touching each other, so they're all level with each other. 
Water always seeks its level. Yeah, that's true. So, look at these. These are all world organizations, like United Nations. They all use a flat earth map. But they leave off Antarctica. Here, this is something you can take home and check out. Great. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Don't let them take your mind. Can I teach you one science fact? No matter how high you go in an airplane or on top of Mount Everest, the horizon is always at your eye level, straight out. It never curves down. That's because of perspective. There are two planes coming together. Just like here, you never see a ship going over the curve. It just vanishes into the horizon. All these world organizations use the flat earth map, like the United Nations, but they leave off Antarctica because Antarctica is not at the bottom. Antarctica goes around the whole thing. So when you are using a compass, that's how come when you're in Australia, you can use a compass and it doesn't go through the center of the earth because it's on a flat plane and it goes directly there. Now, if you type that in, you go home and type that in. Do you want me to put it in here? Then you'll see everything on the banners. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Can I teach you some science there? Yeah? Horizon is always at your eye level. No matter how high you go, it's always at your eye level. It never curves down. There is no curvature to the earth. Horizon is always at your eye level. It never curves down. You're never looking down, no matter how high you go. Seven miles in a plane. It's always up here. Now, why is that? Because there is no curve. We do not live on a spinning ball. There's 60 miles across, 60 miles across Lake Michigan. We see Chicago. Shouldn't be able to if there's a really a ball. What's your first, what's your main objection? Why do you think this isn't it? Because the schools would never lie to us, right? Oh, Government would Everybody never. Would lie well, then you got to decide for yourself yeah. what's true. You have to decide for yourself what's true. Exactly. So here you go. Here's 10 things on here you can look up that'll make you think. I do have a friend that's into this pretty heavily. You, know? you have a what? A friend of mine that I talk to online all the time has really been... He's been researching a lot. Well, of he, it, then he probably little. knows me because I'm all over the internet. He finds, well, he's from South Africa. He's That's really okay. He's fascinated about it, though. He's, um, yeah, yeah he's always, absolutely. He throws tidbits out there every once in a while. And, yeah, well, uh, Flat Earth PA. I run that page, Flat Earth PA. Awesome. And I have meetups. Well, at least I let him look at it. Very know, good, yeah. He's, He's in all the all those. He likes to do research on stuff. The horizon is always at your eye level, no matter how high you go, because the horizon is really two planes coming together in perspective. You know these railroad tracks continue, but you can't see it. That's the vanishing point. So the horizon, if there's no four, if there aren't four planes, there's only two planes. You get a line. So ships don't go over the horizon, they go into the horizon. And all these world organizations, I'm not kidding, this is no joke. All these world organizations use a flat earth map. But they leave off Antarctica. 
Antarctica goes around the outside edge. Our government is lying to us. The schools are lying to us. Now, why would they do that? Because if they can fool us, they can rule us. In order to believe that there's a spinning ball, we have to deny our senses. Okay? So then they can tell us anything and we'll go off to war in the Middle East and get killed. For what? I'm not interested in the Middle East. They have interests, not me. The kings never let the serfs read. Why is that? When they know what's going on. Well, no, because once they started to read, they became educated and they were hard to control. It's all about control. See, this is the oceans of the world. They always seek their own level. And they're all touching each other. Sea level is sea level all over the world. The same one. See, that's what that's the deal. And we, oh, you, do you believe in like uh, energies and whatnot? Because look, we live inside a Taurus field. That's where the earth is. That's why we have, this is free flowing electricity. That's why we have the aurora borealis. And down at the edge of Antarctica, it gets warm. Past the coastline, it's warm. There's land down there. They're hiding it from us. Yeah, we got people in Hawaii. We got people in Las Vegas. We got people all over. If you go on that website, you'll see all of us are on there. We're all independent volunteers and we go out because we love humanity, that's why. So no matter how high you go, Horizon's always at your eye level. Thanks for stopping. Yeah. I've, I've seen your things. I, I had a question. Okay. Just a question. Um, wait, you're talking about it in my science class. Um, Why don't you tell them to call me and I'll come in and give a presentation. Really? With my banners no way. and everything. I will. Can I have your card? Absolutely. Yeah, you go on there and I'm on there. You send them a message and they give it to me. Okay. Sure. Yes. So don't have a globe teacher yeah. try to teach flat earth. They don't know anything about it. Right. So do you remember your question now? Oh, yes. <laughs> was, um, You're beautiful, I, I, by the way. Thank you. It was about the bottom of the earth. Okay. They what, want us to believe that it's, they want us to believe it's this. Yeah. Antarctica is just like a continent, mm -hmm. right? But Antarctica goes around the outside edge. All these world organizations use the flat earth map, but they leave off Antarctica. Yeah. This is what it looks like. That holds in all the oceans. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's Operation High Jump, because it's so high there, they had to get ships and cranes to get things up. Oh. Yeah. They have one part where they shaved it all down, then they can land there. But Yeah. So, yeah, this is 60 miles away over Lake Michigan, yeah. shouldn't be able to see it if there was really curvature. Yeah. So yeah, you tell them, I'd be happy to come in anytime. I'm free during the day. Right. I 